Yeah. All right, so just got done watching Sailor Moon season two, season two, episode one, aka Sailor Moon R, episode one. You know, uh, they these sort of have you know, within the seasons they have their their naming, uh, you know, thing. It's, it's a anime thing. But this is, you know, season two, episode one, or Sailor Moon R, episode one. So this episode, as uh, you know, as we established at the season finale, season one, is that the Sailor. So everything has happened. The cats, Artemis, and Luna recall this. However, the sailors have returned to their normal selves yeah. and do not recall one another. And um, so this episode, I decided to do something a little unconventional, and uh, I use I took I used my phone for notes, which I regret because the written just the pencil to paper. All right, no, no, no let's talk about the episode. Different. But anyway, Sailor the Moon has gone. No, before we get into the plot, I want to establish the beginning. Here. So. The Sailor beginning is that Sailor Moon is Kauai. Sure. But what and, so, but she, so when we jump this in this, we have, we have a different... Uh, we have the same theme song. We have a completely different animation for the theme song. And, oh, yeah. <clears throat> and beforehand, we're given a little preamble. And uh, oh, I didn't do the thing where we say the episode title. Uh, Moon Revived, Mysterious Aliens Appear. Or uh, in English, it was The Return of Sailor Moon. Which is... is Why are the, the English titles are just so... This one's on point. You know, it's on it point. Sure, it's, it's straight up, but it's. But that being said, so the the animation quality, uh, it's more psychedelic. Is, is I, it's uh, just I, more I, psychedelic. I did write that down, but uh, the animation quality is way up. It's great. It's clear that they have a much higher budget. That the first season was a su- success. It's I was reading uh, moments ago that uh, it was that was the intended run. What we would we just what we finished prior to this episode was sincerely. All that was supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. But then they brought it back. And, and you know, what would I have done if they didn't bring it back? I would have been, if we only had 40, what was it, 46, 47 episodes of Sailor Moon to review, I'd be a little bummed because I want 200 and we got 200. We got 200. And I'll, I a can't couple stop movies watching. too. Yeah. Like three movies. Three movies too. Yeah. But we, let's talk about this episode. So, so uh, go ahead. I got the, some. The, the, you know, they have like amnesia, but it. With, right from the get-go, you get the sort of preview of the episode before the theme song. It's established that it's essentially like an amnesia thing. Yeah. That once they return to Sailor form, they will remember what happened. And, and the old, you know, as, as they say in this episode at the very end. Yeah. And, it, the, end, and the, the old Usagi. They're, they're all back to normal. They're back to the roots. Yeah. But Luna knows. Artemis knows. Exactly. They know what went down. And they constantly allude to it. And, uh... You know, so, uh, actually, back, and, and, and to the theme song, Usagi's back to snacking. So in the, in the theme song, uh, in the first one, there was a couple things. There was the, uh, you know, there's the little, like, uh, tiny, I don't know what you call it, like, uh, jukebox star thing, mm. uh, and among other symbols in the first, you know, the, uh, yeah. the silver crystal and stuff was all in the, in the theme song. But in this, in this theme song, there's all these symbols. There's these weird kind of hieroglyphic things. There's this very strange necklace thing that Sailor Moon has. It ties into all the other sailors with a bunch of little symbols. Oh, on yeah. And, and that comes back, that stuff comes back the throughout song. the episode, too. Yeah. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. So I, was, I can go for something. We should make some food or something. Maybe, maybe yeah. Well, let's, let's get to that later. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah, they're, they're definitely going to go into some more complex MacGuffins throughout the season. There's oh, no sure. question about it. And, Which is uh, exciting. And I, it, it, they're definitely... The writing was punchier. It was much funnier in a lot of ways. Because... They know that the audience knows the dumpling head stuff. They don't need to lay on the ground. Oh yeah, and then we get the and dumpling did, body. And they did a good. They did a good job. Dumpling of, body of being like, okay, well, this is a first episode. Well, they wanted to bring it not, back to the roots. Yeah, but they're not going to totally um, reboot, right? They, oh, they, they, they met halfway, which I'm glad. Cause yeah. As I as I was worried was uh, the, they were going to rehash of some sorts, you know, do a rehash. They certainly did not. But you know, that, we spent yeah. some. But we, you know, it's been a while since we spent some. Time but you know, it's in not the, in so, the high school, right? It's been a while since school, we see, yeah. but love is still such a, a prominent thing that uh, you know, I couldn't uh, help but write it down. Uh, you know, Mamoru, uh, as as he is uh, in his non tuxedo or Endymion form, yeah, uh, you know, is is, is still and, a sex symbol. Oh yeah, where he I mean, again, kind of, and, where he walks down the street, but he's still sassing Sailor Moon. Exactly, and there's this sort of um, symbolic uh, meteor figure to symbol like the new bad guys yeah. coming through because we have some new. Big baddies this time, and I think, and, and I think they, they, you know, they're they're kind of hiding away from the like uh, the sort of video gamey like 
boop, 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 climb up the top pretty to goofy. the clean barrel, right? Uh, but like we didn't see this one. And these are some goofy Ginyu Force. They, they're, still, they're still too, uh, you know, I mean, they, they looked like they, they were like cotton candy colors. Is what the sure, but I like that. It was, it was immediately pretty more... Goofy. It was much more. We, were, we mentioned the music though, and I wanted to There's mention. A lot of I wanted to say that the new music uh, sounds a lot like Sticks. I feel like it's Sticks. It's it's a good uh, Sticks. Like I think come sticks. sail away. Yeah, like come sail sure. away. Come come sail but away. Did you did you like that we got to see uh, Naru and um, what, what was the, what was the other guy's name? We talked about it while we were watching it too. Naru, uh, Yumino. Yumino. It was great to see him again. I don't think Yumino even spoke. Yumino, big googly goggly, big old glasses, big old, man. Big old back. spinny googly goggly anime 1990s glasses. He's back. It's good to see him again. And, you know, it was good because they brought, it was almost like, you know, we're diehards at, the, uh, at this point, right? And it was good to just be like, hey, welcome back to this world with these established characters, blah, 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 blah. Naru played a much more important role as the series went on, whereas mm -hmm. Yumino, you know, got put in the back and, you know, still was in this episode. It was just good to see that that world still exists and they're not going to totally scapegoated or not scapegoated so well, you know what I mean <laughs> and I like uh, that you you uh because uh, tuxedo mask is um he's the ideal man and they yes, say yes, they it, say that it, so it, yeah and I like I like that so the big bad guys this time they they uh the first thing they do in their in their effort to circumvent uh, they were so they're looking for human energy again that being said and we hadn't we hadn't talked about that I think in some time you know we hadn't we hadn't referenced the human energy thing we talked about that a lot early on but I think that largely, as a MacGuffin, kind of uh, yeah. lost its um, kind of kind of speed or whatever. But uh, these guys are also looking for human energy, but they don't seem to belong to a larger group the way that uh, Queen Barrel. Oh yeah, designed. I mean they're always coming but back then, to the you know they did talk about the energy. Big, remember the big four was a thing, right? I think we we got three of them. Oh, I yeah. guess Queen Barrel would have been the fourth, right? Yeah, or Tuxedo Mask would have been the fourth. They never really, and they refer to Yuma's again in this episode, which briefly, yeah, briefly. But that's, that's I just a, I heard uh, I that's heard, a folklore. Yuma, Yuma. yeah, Yuma I guess it's a folklore. Yuma was said, but the translation didn't. That, that being said, we had different people working on the subtitles. This one, not something yeah. I like to openly talk about. But anyways, so um, you smell, you smell it. It smells kind of like popcorn or something. Yeah, I like butter. Sure. Yeah. Anyways, um, so uh, what were we on about? Um. So, so with Usagi's family, oh, so, oh yeah, so, so you, Usagi, <laughs> uh, so there's, yeah. there's two transfer students, they have this little assembly with all of the 8th graders and ninth graders, I Oh, believe. yeah. Um, Is that what grade they're in? I think they're in 8th grade, yeah. Usagi's in 8th grade, that was established in this episode, yes. 100%. Usagi and uh, Sailor, Sailor Mercury, Ami, uh, Ami Chen. But, uh, so, basically, they have these two people transfer, and these two people are, are sort of the, uh, the... Trans transformed human uh, skinned versions of these two alien big bad guys who are brother and s wait, wait they brother and sister they're wait yeah okay so they're, yeah. they're a couple as aliens but they they go to school as brother and sister eighth grade ninth grade and the guy plays the flute that was a scene that was very bizarre actually that I talked about it so him and his sister as aliens are talking about how they're in this you know top floor of an apartment building are talking about how they're going to suck all the human energy. Mm. And I think it was, they said something along the lines of it's like uh, stealing energy from flowers is a waste of time. Yeah. Hell of a line. Hell of a line. Absolutely a hell of a line. Stealing you know what it's worth even saying? Heck of a line. Heck of a line. Heck of a line. Um, so do we so see they pretend to be siblings. Family they pretend thing? to be siblings. And this kind of trope, I think, is, is not something you see uh, in American television so much. You might see it more now. It's a little. But you, you would not have seen sort of this uh, playing with, uh, you know, um, the real romance versus family romance, or maybe the opposite. You know, if you say family romance, perhaps it's more real. But you don't see yeah. that that played yeah. in uh, in Western animation or even in a lot of Western um, television. Period. And it was, you know, it was definitely interesting because they, they definitely handled it with um, with grace, nuance, and tact. Uh, that being True. said. But, uh, so they go to the school and, and he, uh, you know, serenades Usagi with this made up, you know, classical song on the flute and he's, she's all about it. But this, this is an old narrative for us, right? So there's, there's been episodes like this. You, what was oh, it you yeah, said? Yeah. You were saying this episode really reminded you of one of the. Yeah. The I forgot about all that. Cause there's like, you know, there's like I the forgot first... about any scene in a school or anything. Like yeah. That. Well, we, we've moved away from that, but it's, we're being brought back that. I forgot about that. But, I mean. 
for, I, for some reason, it's a very loose connection. I think we saw you so saw his mom in this, and it reminded me of the family very briefly, episode. Very, briefly. very, very briefly. Yeah, but that was so one of my favorite. Like, it reminded me of it when because they went that was camping my favorite. And stuff? When they went camping, that, that was, was probably cool my favorite episode because Sailor Moon had to really hide her identity. When you saw her brother as well in this episode, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. kind of a dink. Her brother was in this episode, right? Yeah, he was All right, and and, we, and I remember talking about it in the first season. I mean, I think it was a couple couple weeks, maybe a month or two ago when we were doing an episode like four, five, six, seven, eight, like whatever we, uh, when we saw Usagi's brother for the first couple times, we completely, he's got, he's basically not in the show at a point. He doesn't exist. Yeah. But yeah, throughout this episode, um, you notice Usagi, uh, of all the sailors having muscle memory of, of her old sailor self and having, you know, doing some of the poses. Well, we got like, oh, Sailor Moon on? back. It's Go basically on. it. At the end of the episode, we get Sailor Moon. We get because Lu and Luna's the cats, the on cats stop. Try and do most of the. Fighting. I was ex like, I was excited. We don't want to activate. We, were... we don't want to activate the sailors back. Well, you know, I thought we just, were. They, yeah, it was only two months ago. This well, takes place two months. To be after honest, I did not think we were going to get Sailor Moon back by the end of this episode, and I thought we were going to have like um, some kind of middle ground. Amnesia well, I thought we were going to have just for this first episode and this first episode only. Just the cats. We were going to have some crazy cat, cat battle, fight. like cat fight. Straight up, yeah, yeah, like, like we were gonna have the cats by, battle the Yuma just for this episode, Artemis and Luna, and uh, that was the case for about forty five seconds. But then you know, but they did like it. actually put up a fight like they, they never had in an episode before. Yeah. Like they were fighting, and uh, you know she didn't get to make her moon tier action to send it all up at the very tail end of this episode. If it wasn't for Luna biting the arm of the vampire, vampire yeah, vampire, and we get introduced to a new. Uh, 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 you the new uh, fuck, the, uh new evil guy. Yeah, well they yeah. they use cards. They use these weird sort of what is it I wrote down? Tarot baddies. Oh yeah, you know tarot esque baddies. Um, which is you know I mean it essentially is the same as what we got before, but they're keeping it interesting. You know it's more colorful, perhaps. It's more. Uh, yeah, no, but you try and get home. You right. Yeah. But it, it's great. It's great to uh, you know, kind of know that we're gonna have to go through another giant arc, having this other arc be done, yeah. perhaps. So the way that they activated Sailor Moon's powers back makes me realize that when we get these new sailors back, they're gonna come back, and then we're going to pick up from where we left off. We're not back to square one. Yeah. Which is what I'm very happy about. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Right? Yeah. We're and no. I mean, going back to square one would. And I don't think they're necessarily going to do the kind of thing where they go, one episode, so this sailor called, gets back, this sailor gets back. I'm thinking that they're going to kind of hit all the other I sailors. I mean, they, the they already, there, there was, the there was some sort of montage of all the sailors in this episode already. We saw every sailor again. Maybe not every sailor. We saw a lot. I don't know if we saw Sailor Mars in this episode. We, we saw, we saw Jupiter and Ami. Uh, I don't recall seeing Sailor, no, we saw Sailor Venus and Mars. Yeah, they all came to the magical meteor explosion, mm -hmm. symbolic of... You know, the space, uh, magic, alien, you know, evil coming back into the into the game. You know, yeah, yeah. But yeah, as as I, I don't know if I already said this, but yeah, it's interesting. That these bad guys don't seem to be motivated by a giant, big old uh, kingdom kind of thing. These guys are just inherently like, oh, yeah, let's, I'm let's curious to mess see. around. But I'm not sure. It wasn't really incredibly established what the motivation is for these bad guys, other than wanting human energy of sorts. Yeah. And um, yeah, there's lots to talk about. <laughs> there's lots to talk about energy and just like every episode of Sailor Moon. So I'm I'm excited to see where they take this. <laughs> I'm excited Did to see where this? they take this energy. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, sure. But I'm waiting. You know, <coughs> I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm waiting for cute lunches. <laughs> cute lunches. Yeah, that's what I miss. I want to see my more. favorite thing of Sailor Well, Moon the problem is, is that the sailors, like, you know, they, they they don't know that they're sailors except Sailor Moon. But they don't necessarily re they don't remember that they're friends either, right? Oh yeah, that kind of sucks. That makes me bummed up because they had the chemistry, all the chemistry lost, gone. Kind of. I mean, you saw me and Sailor Moon like unknowingly interact the way they did. She's like, "Oh, I feel nostalgic," right? Yeah. That was kind of cozy. And you know what? This episode felt it felt so new and so nostalgic at the same time. Yeah, which was nice. That was nice. You know what I mean? It's like more of the same, but a little different. Yeah. You know? It's and nice. so it's what, what's, what's R? What is R? Where's the army? I think we'll probably find out. I, I guess we don't know yet. I don't think it necessarily means much. I'm going to be honest with you. 
really. My theory is it doesn't mean much. We're no one thinking. Sailor Moon, Arbor Sailor Moon. How are we going to do these? I mean, that's... You know, whatever. Sailor Moon. I'm on. doing this as season two. You know what I mean? I'm going to call it season two. But to constantly refer to it. Remember, remind me. Well, no, no. Sailor, Sailor Moon. Moon are. Mm -hmm. Season two. No, I guess that makes no we sense. just got done watching Sailor Moon, uh, season two, episode one, aka Sailor this is Moon season R, two. episode one. So the title of the video should be like uh, in the leave in the comments below what you think we should name these new episodes of Sailor Moon season two. Um, I'm just you know, gonna call them Sailor Moon season two for now. But if, if you sure. don't really want it to be Sailor Moon R, I will change it to that. If people, you know, leave down in the, the comments. The quality is way up. The quality of writing, the quality of art, of music, of voice acting, sure. of everything, of story, of villain, whatever. It's way up. It's way up. Are you heading out? You heading out, bro? Mm -hmm. uh, good luck. Good luck out there. You going to be all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're not going to fucking pass out on the way home? <laughs> all right. You know what I'm Lots of subs. Lots yeah, of subs. Yeah, too much subway. No, I'm talking about the subscribers. Subscribers? Yeah. We're reaching the hundreds. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. One thousand. I love you, anime fans. I love Sailor Moon. Um, I love this guy, Liam. This is my friend, Liam. He's a good guy. Love him. Love him. Hey, good night, big guy. Good night. <sighs> we gotta kill this man. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. It's been, it's been a pleasure.